Oh my God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wrong note. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to her my last email. I'm in my infamous pink robe, so you know what that means. I'm about to do my hair. I'm no protective styles all 2020. I'm not trying to wear my hair out. I'll show you the my picture hair. of my first protective style is here. I wore that for the first week in the year. And um, this is my second one. Scoochie. What's up, buddy? Scoochie. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to do this style with some modifications. But basically, it is crochet season. This is some free choice braid hair I got from the beauty supply store. It was $9 a pack, which I'm not excited about. So I only got... Two, some people on YouTube recommended more than two, but I was not here for it. So I only got two, so I have to make this thing work. So one modification that I wanna make is doing little braids in the front. And on the video, the girl basically put her hair in a ponytail, braided it up, wrapped it around, put her hair in two buns in the back, and crocheted the hair inside of this like braidless crochet style. That is so easy, like so easy to maintain. I love it, but I just want to be extra. I'm probably going to braid the back of my hair. Mind you, I'm not a braider. Can't braid, barely. I can barely braid, but I'm going to try to braid the back and I want to do something interesting with the front. So give me like two seconds. I'm attempting to do these cute little little i don't know if you know what you call these things but they're little boxes in my head i just want to do something different you know i'm just trying to i'm just trying to be different i don't like it this is a bad idea bad idea so the thing is i just don't know how to do a lot of styles and i'm okay with that those little twisty things were not coming out how i wanted them to so cancel don't even worry about it now i'm doing the only thing i know how to do in this world which is flat twist <gasps> i mean it's not hideous it's not cute but it's also not hideous so <laughs> it looks stupid eco style gel baby Get it right. <sighs> this is just the beginning. I haven't even started on the hard part. So now I want to oh, hang time. Oh, wait. Now I'm going to braid the back. And the back doesn't have to be straight. I'm just braiding it just because I don't wanna put it in those two buns. So I'll be back. So this is what I've been doing to my hair. I put it up into a little bun. Y'all saw me do that part and then I braided the back. Don't judge my braids since I can't braid straight. I was just braiding as best as I can. They do not do cornrow class in black homes. You just gotta figure it out. I'm gonna let my hair dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to come back and crochet the rest of my hair. Super excited. Stay tuned. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is the next day and it's time for me to put in my crochet hair. I'm kind of nervous. I really couldn't even sleep last night because I was so scared that this was gonna turn out bad, but it seems pretty easy and straightforward. So let's just Let's just get it done. So while I do this, I want to talk about something I have been struggling with. I literally am fighting with the old Bria. Like she's beating me up and I'm the new Bria, the current Bria is losing. Yeah. Basically, you gotta take this. They said split it in half. The thing I'm struggling with right now is my old self. 
I feel like I'm constantly comparing myself to my old self. Okay. Okay. I forgot how to do crochet. I really don't know what I'm doing. Because this crochet thing is not really working. My braids, I feel like, are not really working. I'm just about to thug this the heck out. I'm about to just thug it out. It's just like, as of late, I just constantly feel myself comparing my new self, my 2020 self, to my college self. And I'm like, ugh. When I was in college, I was so confident. When I was in college, I used to dress so cute. When I was in college, I used to just have so much fun. And it's just like, what happened to her? I miss her. And I just keep harping on this old person that I was. And I look at myself now and I'm like, I'm not confident. I'm not cute. I'm not sociable. Like, I don't know who the heck I am anymore. But in college, I know I was that girl, period. And I just feel so regular. I just feel so not special as an adult. Um, this whole conversation, this whole thing stemmed from a conversation I had with one of my friends. He asked me about something and like my face just lit up when I was talking about like, oh yeah, so when I was in college, da 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 I was like, <laughs> and I got so excited. He was like, oh wow, college must have been really fun. I was like, yeah, college was that girl. Like, oh my God, it was so much fun. He was like, well, do you think you peaked in college? And I was like, peaked in college? Why would you say that? No, I didn't peak in college. Like, no, I'm still doing my thing but then i had to think about it a little bit more and i was like dang what if i really did peak in college because all of my funnest memories all of my most turned memories all of the best things i you know like the funnest parts of my life i feel like we're in college so i'm like wait a minute <laughs> did i peak <laughs> like was that the the highlight of my life was college this is pissing me off <laughs> so bad oh my god i'm an idiot <laughs> i've been doing this wrong the whole time you gotta stick the crochet needle in first and then put it on your hair uh, you know what this is why <laughs> reading instructions is fundamental anyway why do I keep comparing my old self to my new self? But I guess it's hard because like you be on social media and I, I, I have a lot of friends who do really great things. And every other week, somebody got a promotion. Somebody started a new job. Somebody, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm trash. So yes, I do think social media has something to do with it. But I'm also not anti-social media like some people are. I think social media is amazing because you can make money from it. But on the other hand, I also feel like I'm constantly like, dang, like these people are doing their thing and I'm out here complaining and being sad every single day because I feel like I'm boring and unsuccessful. But I kind of had a revelation the other day I was listening to uh, Pastor Michael Todd. He was talking about the church's vision for um, 2020. And he was just talking about vision in general and the fact that when you don't have a vision, the people perish. That's a scripture. When there is no vision, the people perish. That is um, Proverbs 29 and 18. And basically, he was just saying, like, you know, when you don't have a clear direction for where you think you're going, it's hard to go anywhere. I think it's somewhat true because when I was in college, you know, I went into college knowing three things. I knew that I wanted to graduate, duh. I knew that I wanted to um, be an AKA and I knew that I wanted to be homecoming queen. And there are certain actions that you have to take to get that stuff done. Like you have to have your academics on point. You have to be involved. You have to be nice to people. You have to, you know, make those connections. So I just, I guess I did have a vision in college. Like, like I knew what I was there for. I knew what I wanted to do. And so maybe that could be the reason why I felt so determined back then. Because now I really don't know what my vision is. I've been to college. I graduated. I got a master's degree. I've done that. 
when it was time for me to get a job, you know, I networked and did all that stuff, did everything I had to do to get the job. And then once I got the job, I didn't really have a goal anymore. Cause I was like, well, I got the job. So what's next? Sometimes I want to have a YouTube channel. Sometimes I want to be an influencer. Sometimes I want to be a speaker. Sometimes I just, I'm like kind of all over the place, to be honest. I need to really dial into like what it is that I really want to do. And maybe that'll reinvigorate my passion for life in general. Because I feel like I know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Also, I've been reading this book called Fervent Prayer by uh, Priscilla Shire. And basically, it's all about how to pray and how to um, have strategic prayer. Because, of course, like you can pray and be like, God, help me. And he'll listen to that. But it's also sometimes important to be strategic in your prayers as well. And so she just talks about different strategies and how to pray and stuff. And um, so I've been reading that book every day. And then I'll... Um, Listen to like positive, uplifting, uplifting music, and then I'll sit in silence. And that's kind of been my, my morning routine for the past few weeks. And I was reading the book one day and um, the context of that particular chapter, because I read a chapter a day, the context of that particular chapter was not letting your sinful past hold you back from a future in Christ. And... I interpreted it as like not letting my past hold me up for my future. So like not letting college Bria hold me up from 2020 Bria. The one of the scriptures that I like really liked, I'm reading my computer, so I have notes. It says, don't call to mind the former things or ponder things in the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it'll spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will make a roadway in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. And that's Isaiah 43, 16 through 18. And when I read that, it just made me think like, dang, I need to like leave that old girl alone. Like college Bria is dead. Leave her where she is. Stop harping on that because that's over. Let it go and focus on the new thing. Like that scripture is like, I'm doing a new thing. Do you even see it? And it's like, no, I don't see it because I'm sitting up here still tripping on college Bria. Like, what would college Bria have done? What would college Bria be doing right now? What is college Bria? Man, 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 man. The struggle is real. I just did not expect crocheting to be this difficult. Maybe because I've never crocheted. This is just, it's only my second time crocheting. It's a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, but I'm getting through it bit by bit. Basically, no strategy. I'm just in here doing this. With this crochet here, I'm just putting this stuff in, looking in the mirror. If it look too thin on one side, add some more. And that's all I got to say about that. You just got to keep doing it until it look like how you want it to look. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The scripture is like, are you even aware of it? Do you even know what's going on? He's like the scripture says, I will make a path in the wilderness and a river in dry land. A path in the wilderness sounds like there's something out there that seems unattainable, seems crazy, seems unreachable. But God is making a path for me through that. And not only that, he's making rivers in the desert, which means stuff that I thought was dead, dreams that I thought were dead, situations that I thought were dead. I always wanted to be Oprah. I always wanted to be on TV. I always wanted to be, but I, but I killed that because I was like, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not built for that. What if that's him telling me like he'll make rivers in the desert, meaning he'll bring back to life dreams that I thought were dead, you know? And so I just have to realign my vision to what what is God doing right now for me? Like, what am I missing out on? Cause I'm so focused on the past. And honestly, I feel like my version of the past is so romanticized because when I think really hard, <laughs> I remember some of the chaos that was happening. And I was like, what the heck is going on in college? Like chaotic, like looking at myself, like how did I get in this situation? This is so stupid. God, if you deliver me from this, I never, I never do this again type situations. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, if you just deliver me one more time, I promise I'll never do this again. 
So even my idea about what my past used to look like, it's fake anyway. So I'm sitting up here being sad over something that wasn't even for real. It's like all of, it's like a fairy tale kind of thing. I am sad over a fake life. I just pray that God is bringing me some new goals in this season. And I cannot keep using the same tired archetype of myself to be present in these current situations. Like, that stuff is old. That's old. I'm old. So this is what it's looking like so far. I used almost one pack of hair. It can definitely be fuller in the at the bottom. I want to go back and fill in the bottom. Cause I'm getting so top happy. The top look good, but the bottom need a little bit of work. And then once I do the bottom, I'm gonna go back and do my bun. So now we're getting to the front. I'm literally just crocheting pieces of hair inside of the perimeter of my bun. Y'all, I'm tired. I refuse to to believe that I peaked in college. Like that's just not my thing. Like I, I, I no, I I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Like I did not peak in college. Like y'all got me bit for real. Like no, ma'am. Whatever I did in 2012 is only gonna magnify as the years goes on. However fine I was back then, I'm only getting finer, baby. I'm only getting finer. Do you hear me? This is just the beginning of a li a lifetime of sexiness. So at first, just so I know, at first I was doing like splitting these things in half, but I'm kind of over it. And so I'm just putting the whole thing on there because at the end of the day, it's all going on there anyway. That's why I kind of feel like vision boards are so important. And this year, uh, I had such a hard time making my vision board. Follow me on Instagram and see my vision board journey. But I had such a hard time doing my vision board this year because I really didn't have any tangible goals. Like, I was like, well, I guess I want to grow my Instagram or, well, I guess I want to. But it's like, can I do this? I really want to have it just be like, like that. I was really having a hard time doing my vision board this year because... I just don't feel motivated to do anything big. And I'm kind of scared to say what I really, really want to do. Like, I really, really want to like, just create videos and content and like, just make videos full time. But that just feels so unrealistic. And I'm scared to like, put that out there and be like, well, I want to be, cause like Issa Rae inspires me so much y'all. Like, just seeing where she came from and, <laughs> literally 10 years of just making all these random videos and now she has her own network and stuff like do i want to dedicate 10 years to making videos and that's always been my thing like i know that i can do some things like i know that i can do get good grades like i'm, I'm i just know that I, that's that's easy for me and i know that i can do certain things when it comes to these big huge like ostentatious goals i'm like i can't do this stuff man and so it makes me discouraged just like the video that i made a few a few months ago about like motivation like that motivational theory says that if you don't believe that you can do it you won't be motivated at all like it's canceled and so part of my lack of motivation comes from a lack of confidence. Like, can I really do the stuff that I really want to do? And when I don't feel that way, it's like, well, I don't want to do anything. Cause the thing that I really want to do, I can't do it. And I don't want to do, do anything else. So it's just like, I just sit in, I just sit in. <sighs> Does that make sense? If, if I could just <laughs> honestly I'm having a dilemma I love this like ponytail look like some up some down right I like really really like this but it's come out of this bun so like from far away it look, or from close up it looks stupid 
So, I've never really been a fan of these like buns. I feel like I look childish. This looks like a childish. I wish I could just do a ponytail. This is what we decided on. We just did a lot of, a high pony with the versatility to do a bun if necessary, but start on a high pony. Stay tuned to my Instagram for more updates about the hair, but this is the finished product. 